hello there welcome to my channel how are you doing i'm doing fine pray that you are also well yes so um this it's it's, it's going to four o'clock i think i've not checked the watch time but i think it's going to four o'clock so the thing is today i'm going to cook ugali it's my lunch it's my dinner <laughs> So I've been working on some things, like you see what I'm wearing right now. Uh, uh, I've, I've made it myself. Let me turn around. I, I didn't check how I tied it, but just to have an idea, normally I have to arrange behind. But because I wanted to cook, most of the times I like to cover my head because a piece of hair might fall on my food. So, um... Uh, if you see my background also, I just want to let you know I'm a very simple lady, very simple. I'm not so much into makeup. I, I'm a natural lady. More, once in a while, I would do my nails. Once in a while, I'd put makeup, but I'm natural. So, And I like living a simple life that uh, when you're using your phone is when people send things because I'm using my phone. So, um, if you see my background is messy because I've been working on some materials. I like to invent. I like to discover things that I like to try new things. Like now I, I want to change some t-shirts and mix it. You'll see. Anytime you see I wear anything, I've done something, I'll let you know. Just like this one, I've done it, I'll let you know. And uh, I'm going to make apron the same color because this material i got it somewhere and uh, i thought well why not apron most of the time people use white and use a uh, check uh, the, those squared ones we call it back home check <laughs> materials but uh, for me it doesn't matter apron is apron so i'm about to make apron for this you're gonna see very soon so i try i'm trying to see what i can create and everything and don't forget that since march is when i started to learn how to sew by myself i don't learn it in the internet i just work on it myself because sewing as long as you know how to put your feet on that step on that thing to run you can do anything yeah so i if i can count since march until now i'm getting better and better every day so everybody can learn something new though there are challenges but if you accept the challenges you'll make it so to make the story short today i just want to make the easiest food because when i'm busy i don't normally struggle so much to stand in the in the kitchen and cook so now i want to make ugali ugali hey! east africa ugali yo so i have prepared some things here i have prepared the cabbage uh i have prepared the meal i, I had a little bit of uh, cassava a little bit left because i'm now, nowadays i eat nigerian food so i had made cassava ugali let me tell the east africans they make cassava as ugali so i mixed it with my meal which is yellow because for me i can mix i don't i don't normally uh, care about so as long as i get the ingredients from the food it's fine with me so i have onions there are so much the remaining i'll put away in the fridge i will not throw away then i have salad oil here and then i have tomato and then I have this spice, uh, curry. I always love curry. And I, 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 take, I use curry because of the, the, the ingredients inside. I have paprika. And of course, as if you have been watching my cooking, I like this chili. Yeah, they have a very good aroma and flavor. And I can't do without chili anyway. And here, I, I always use this as salt because it has some flavor in it that give makes my vegetable fine then i feel when i eat vegetable i feel like i'm eating meat i came to discover that i'm a vegetarian i didn't know that i just realized that i don't normally miss meat once in a while i do eat meat but i don't miss it like the way people would be like i have to go to the market and buy me meat no i don't run to the market to buy meat i run to the market to buy whatever i feel i want it and i found myself always like on the area of beans uh, greens and fruits 
then that's made me know that oh i'm no i'm a vegetarian so now i'm gonna start to cook without talking too much so just gonna watch how i do it i hope it's you can see it let me bring it closer It's clean, so I can pick the pollen things. I always clean before I start cooking. The reason why, you might be wondering why I cook my simple meals with you without even doing a lot of uh, cooking like a special food is that I enjoy I enjoy doing things with people. It's my I was created like that. I like doing things with people, so that's why I love cooking with you. So just enjoy. Sit down and watch me cook. <laughs> I came to realize that it's not only the East Africans who eat ugali. I have a friend who comes from, um, what's the name of this country? Who comes from, um, ah, I always forget, let me try to remember. Portugal. She came here and I cooked ugali and uh, she told me that they do cook ugali also. I was so surprised. I was really surprised. I, I couldn't imagine people from Portugal eating Ugali as well.
So in East Africa we call this ugali, yeah? but I think the Western people call it fufu. Though they don't do it with maize, they do it with cassava, grounded cassava. And I, what else do they use? I forgot. I have to find out again. But I, I learned to make the cassava also. It's very sweet to make a ugali with cassava only. But uh, we do make cassava in my hometown, Kisumu, near the Lake Victoria. But uh, our cassava is like they ferment it, then they scratch the things that grow on it after fermented. Then they pound it and then they dry it. Then they mix it with millet and uh, maize. Then they take it to grind it. Then they use it. And that's the best ugali. Oops, what have I done? That's the best ugali I love or oh, I've messed here. My goodness. Oh my. I was charging this my stab saga. This one's. I normally like you to keep. It's normally help me. It's a quick way of picking things from the floor when I don't use the big hoover. It's a quick way for me. Actually, it's all salt but mixed with some little bit of spices which I never bother to read. So I, I use it as my salt. I think I've explained it before. I always see people carrying the spices and pour it. Uh, closer to the fire but the steam normally goes in here and this should stay dry I realize that they get the hole together so I always avoid to use it closer to the food that I'm cooking because the moisture goes inside maybe to those who have never realized to those who know about that is fine but to those who have never realized just you can we can learn from each other, yeah. So I don't know whether this chili is too much. I'm always afraid of it. It's normally very strong. Mm, it's okay. I will not die if it is too sharp. is curry. Oh, I hope my hand will not pain later because I've been having pains on my shoulder. And when you have to cook this, I forgot that this you have to work hard. It's a little bit something that takes you have to press a little bit harder to to make sure that all the meal is is far is is, is uh, there's no I don't know how to call it. We always say stones <laughs> from the meal. I mean, like everything has got the water. That's what I mean. And the way I'm doing it, I have to use a little bit strength, and I have arm from shoulder problem. I hope it's not gonna disturb me. So this pressed onion, I always do like this. If I have onions left, I 
because we cook every day so I put like this because they were big onions and then put them in the fridge then I can use them tomorrow I think this is done. I'll show you exactly everything we normally do. I use the yellow mail and we do have also white mail. Mm. So then you can reduce the fire. Let me test. And cover it for a while. I, during winter I always put my dustbin outside meanwhile I'll be using something small then when I finish because winter time the things don't smell so I can put my dustbin in the balcony it's on the balcony thank god I have a balcony sometimes when you don't have balcony it's not that great but it's not going to be a little bit of water. Uh, I like keep on turning it so that the not one side is overcooked. They all get cooked. I really want to test if the salt is enough. Need a little bit. I'm afraid. <laughs> it's better to put less than to put much. At least less you can add, much you can't take out.
curly you have to make sure that the wooden thing you have cleaned it straight away because otherwise to get it out after a while it will be very hard and so when I finish washing it I'll, I'll uh, turn over the ugali just to show you how you need to cook it put off the light the thing from home and then you have to straight away put water on the pot otherwise getting them out will be a problem and, and leave it to soak so I'll open the tap water you saw what I did, I put this on the water, this one, then it helps me to shape it like a cake. We normally shape it with a wet wooden, uh, this wood, I don't know how you call it. We'll be waiting the, uh, I'll be waiting this as I shape. Let me shape it where you can see. So this is what we use to shape it like a cake. Then it looks nice and also you can cut it with a fork easily or with a knife. So then I drop it to soak in the pot which I, I had cooked the ugali in. Then um, I'm gonna use only one plate. Normally Back home, we don't use one plate for the, in the village, I mean, we don't use one plate for the um, Bugalian veggies. A little bit too dry let me add just a little bit of water and I think I need a slightly a little bit of salt So my veggies are ready. I like veggies. I, I eat a lot of it. I would rather eat a lot of veggies than the ugali. I really love veggies. And there's a way I normally make this, but today I didn't make it like that. Because when I went to the shop, I realized that I forgot my money. It was not in the wallet. Yesterday, I took out the money from the wallet. So, I went out to do something. So, 